In this session, we're going to take a look at working in the mindset of HSB, but not from the standpoint of color separation, but from the standpoint of graphic design. You know, as we've opened up the HSB color separations, and we've looked at color, and I've said, you know, it's more than just the separations. It's also the designs. It's understanding how the color works and how you can use it. And you can use this understanding for far more than just color separations. You can use it in the design process. You can give yourself a distinct advantage over your competitors when you understand these things. So in this session, I want to take a look at creating a cool design like we see here, this Think Green t-shirt design, this nice effect in it. Now the fact is, if you're designing like this, and the guys down the street are designing like this, you're going to start to have an advantage over them. And we've seen this again and again and again with our clients that are using our information all around the world. They start designing at the level they're really capable of because they understand their software and they understand color and they start winning the bids and start getting a really good distinct advantage over the competition. I mean, if you gave me this t-shirt, I would be, well, I'm not sure I really want to wear that, it's just clip art, but I might wear it. But you give me this t-shirt and I'd be wearing it all over the place just because of the cool effect on it. Now, the fact is, and I've said this many times, every piece of apparel that goes out of your business is advertising for your business. Somebody shows up at their work with their logo on a cool design like this, and the guy who's got the pizzeria across the street says, wow, where'd you get those t-shirts? He says, well, I got them down at Joe's screen printing shop. Huh. Next thing you know, he's calling you because he wants some cool art. Now, understanding that, let's take a look at how we can break something like this down and make a design like this really quick and easy. I have a couple of images here. Now, because I've come to a place that I understand how color works, I can look at images, and now I'm looking at this. Normally, I would have looked at this and said, oh, I've got all this black in here. I couldn't really use this. But now I can look at this and I can realize that I can take this apart the same with this light bulb. Because once I pull back the brightness or the black, all I've got underneath is the color and then I can desaturate that and use that as a design asset. Let's take a look how we do this. For example here, if I want to create a design asset from this, looking at it with the HSB eyes, I know I've got some cool effects in here that I can pull out of here. So I just, really just go to Effects, Adjust, and I go to my Channel Mixer. And I'll go ahead and reset here so you can see what I'm doing. But I'll just go to the CMYK color mode, and then I'll go to the black channel. I'll change that to zero and select OK. Now, I just pulled all of this color here, and I can pull effects from within here. I go to Effects, Adjust, and Desaturate. And you can see I got that really cool effect there. Now, I want to pull this out. So I can go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. We've got a really great tone curve tone curve tutorial on the YouTube channel. but So here what I want to do is I'm just going to pull some things here. First I'm going to get rid of all the lighter color and just bump all that up to a white so that I got rid of that. Now you can see that's a little bit stronger than what I wanted there. And I'm going to want to bring some of this back here also. And there you can see that effect starting to take shape. Now I'm going to go ahead and darken here a little bit. Pull some of this down. And we'll do some, some more of that here also and I can see this effect starting to take form and I could use this. Now I'm going to bring this up a little bit darker and just kind of experiment with it till I get where I'd like to be with the look that's going on there. And I'll select OK. Now this won't be the same as the one we did before but it's going to be very close. Now looking at this, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to open this up in Photo Paint. I'll go to Edit Bitmap and we'll go ahead and open this up in Corel Photo Paint and I'm just going to touch some things up here. And really all I want to do here is just do some erasing. I get my eraser tool and I just want to kind of erase out these edges here they're square and hard just like that and see if we've got any other color density here and I've got an eyedropper here and this will tell me and this is all pure white so that's going to be just fine go ahead and select save and we'll take that back into draw now this element is set up and I could make even more adjustments if I want to go effects adjust and tone curve and kind of darken that up a little bit for the screen printing process. Just go ahead and pull this down here until I get that where I want it, which would be right about there. And I could bring some of this lighter color up to a white, something like that right there, and select OK. Now what I've got is a nice little design asset. Now what I want to do is take this, I'm actually going to convert this to a monochrome bitmap, a perfect monochrome grip map. I'll use my simple steps raster to do that go to my post steps and I'll just click on convert and I'll get a monochrome bitmap back. Actually a perfect monochrome bitmap which takes quite a few steps and I don't want to get into that here but go ahead and let that process. 
And once that's done, now what I can do is I can take this and just kind of move it around and change its shape, etc. Something like this here. See how that looks there? Change both of these to say a green color, and then you can see the effect we're starting to get. And I could go and copy that again, something like over here, and I'm getting a really nice abstract effect coming out of that. And I could do the same thing here, and we'll just rotate this just a bit. So here I've got a nice abstract design type effect set up, similar to what I had up there, as you can see there. And I, you know, you can tweak this in and move stuff around and get it all set up just the way you want it for a nice effect on a t-shirt. Now here, you can see that I've got the light bulb. Now looking at this, I'm looking at this and thinking, well, I don't want this black, but I could probably use that hue in there to create a nice soft touch or an effect on this design. Same thing here. Effects, adjust, I'll go to channel mixer, we'll get rid of all the black, we'll go to effects, adjust, desaturate, and looking at this, I'll go to effects, adjust, and tone curve, and we'll just darken this up a bit. Something like that, okay. And then we'll go ahead and open this up in Photo Paint and we'll just erase around the edges here. Now you can see I'm working through this literally in a matter of minutes. And if you go looking through your stock images and your stock photography, you'll be able to identify images that you can work with to create these really cool effects by working with the design assets that you have in the hue of your images. And we'll go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and convert that one also to a perfect monochrome and I'll select OK and we'll let that process. And then I'll just go ahead and bring this down here and set this up right here on top of my green. You can make that a little bit bigger. And if I wanted that darker I could simply copy and paste that and make it a little bit darker or I could go back and use my tone curve. Now you can see that this design is a far I guess you could say a, an enormous departure from working with vector, but yet it's very easy to do because once you've been trained in color separations and the videos that we've been putting out and putting together for you, you'll understand how to identify these assets, how to look at color, how to understand what's going on with color, how to dig into your images and get design assets out of them that are going to give you a distinct advantage against your competitors. We'll go ahead and take this here. I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt. I'm going to select both of these and we'll resize this just a bit and bring that into like right about there. Now I could do a lot more tweaking with this. I could copy this, paste this in, start to make really crazy looking effects. Something that's really going to pop off in the design. Bring this down here in size a little bit and just kind of put it off over here. Just like m little tweaks and adjustments around what's going on with the effects in the design. You can see by bringing that green in there, we're starting to get a really different look by blending that light bulb in. And then I'd simply need to add my text. I could go think. And then I could go green or what have you. Right there. And I could bring this into the design down here. And I'm doing, you know, a really high end looking abstract type design, literally, just in a matter of minutes here. And we could put this think green over here on top or make the think a little bit smaller and the green a little bit bigger put that right there and maybe put this right here in the center go ahead and change our font and I'll go down here with say an aerial black something bolder this time maybe that's a little bit bolder than what I want I want to go up here into my actually I'll go with aerial and just make that bold right there and we could take this and then just kind of duplicate it and we can take this and just kind of duplicate it here and have the black behind it and maybe make that a white color. Let's see if I got my color palette here. Now if I wanted to make this pop a little more, all I'd need to do then is just go ahead and give this maybe a drop shadow or something like that and make that green. Come over here to my effects, I'll go to my drop shadow and just go ahead and drop a drop shadow here change this to normal, we'll change this to green, we'll bring our, and this is actually my drop shadow opacity, I'll bring that up to 100, and I want to change this to green, not gray, and then we can do the same thing here on the T that's the think here, but I'm going to need to select that first, just grab that here, 
get our drop shadow and do the same thing just to make that pop off go ahead and bring this out to 100 change this to a green etc and then I could go ahead and change this to normal and then you can see what I can start to create for a design working with the abstract objects I was able to pull from those images now this is not the same design but you can see how fast I've been able to go through this and finding some assets like this is pretty easy to do if you look through your stock art and stuff like that you'll have some things in there but there we've got a really wild design and something that's really going to blow away anybody in our market who's just working with simple clip art, etc. And we really want to be able to work with all the advantages that we have available to us through the stock images and the material that we can find for our design assets, including the hue that's inside of the images once you split them and pull them apart. So this is just a quick tutorial. I wanted to show you how you can create a really off-the-wall design like this, literally work in a few minutes because you understand how to work with hue and some of the training we've been putting forth. We'll go ahead and wrap here. And we'll see you in our next video.